I was camping with my husband and his family at a small, remote lake in New Mexico. There were about 10 people in our group and another group of six people in the next campsite. It was nighttime and both groups were doing typical activities, making s'mores, having a few drinks and telling stories, when we all heard what sounded like a little girl yelling out for help. Neither group had children with them, but we were all positive we were hearing a little girl and decided to search the area we heard the noises from together. There was a field behind our campsites, and we all saw a very tall, pure, white figure standing maybe 100 feet away from us in the field, making the noises. We all agreed this thing looked maybe six feet tall, skinny, and white as can be. We made our way closer to investigate, but whatever it was that we saw started backing off as we got closer, and it disappeared into the trees. All night we continued to hear a little girl calling for help as we tried to sleep. I was driving across country with my mom and sister when I was 16 and my sister was 20. It was late, but we were well rested still and alert. We were driving along an interstate and needed gas and a bathroom break, so we stopped at the only rest stop in 200 miles. There was a van full of teenagers on a road trip at the gas station, as well as a small gray car parked at the pump in front of us with two young men standing still outside of it. When we got there, everything felt wrong. We'd been on the road for days and seen many rest stops at night and had never been afraid until then. My mom and sister went inside and I stayed in the car. I heard the teenagers say they were creeped out and couldn't get the pump to work and they left in a hurry. I was watching the car in front of us and the two men had not moved at all, not an inch. They weren't talking, they weren't on phones, they were just standing there, still as stone. My sister and mom came running back out to the car and when they got in, the two men slowly turned to look at us while not moving or pivoting the rest of their bodies. And I swear to fucking shit, we all saw the same thing. They had eyes dark as pitch and empty. Truly empty. Not black, not reflecting any light at all, just a void. We sped out of there and didn't stop until we were in the next city. The worst thing about the entire experience? We couldn't find the place on any map. We knew exactly which spot on the interstate to look and we couldn't find it on Google Maps or any paper map we had. We even asked locals about the creepy gas station out on that stretch of road and got only confused looks. We've traveled on that interstate since and there is no rest stop. We were driving my friend's really old beat up Subaru through a massive graveyard. We stopped and walked down a hill and came across a little pond. There was someone sitting on a rock on the other side of the pond. The figure was all black, and we couldn't make out any features other than the fact it looked like a man who was wearing some old-style top hat. We stupidly waved and shouted, Hi! He didn't show any acknowledgement and continued sitting still on the rock. All of a sudden, he jumped to his feet, started running to us on the water, and then vanished in thin water about halfway on the pond. My friends and I screamed and ran back to the car. The car wouldn't start, and we heard something banging on the back of the car. It wasn't a constant bang, but every few seconds or so we'd hear it. Nobody was outside from what we could see in the dark, but something was making a noise on the car. I opened my phone and started dialing my mom to come give us a boost, but I had no service. None of us had any cell service. The next 30 minutes were spent trying to get her car started. No banging was heard afterwards, but we felt this heavy pressure around us. Finally, the car started and she hit the pedal to the metal. We sped out of the graveyard so fast. Immediately crossing the gates, all of our phones regained cell service. One thing I know for certain is that someone or something was out there, and it was not an animal or a human.